Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd and Korea. We are continuing our MTG budget upgrade series. This time we're looking at green card draw attack triggers. So I'm going to actually do a few episodes on green card draw. I uh, covered Mardu card draw before, and um, there's a whole series on that if you're looking for any of the Mardu colors. So again, that's white, red, black I already covered. So this is kind of my missing piece here. I'm not doing blue for obvious reasons. Please hit like and subscribe, it really does make a difference, and if you want to give me any kind of feedback, leave a comment or you can go on Facebook and find me, uh, me at uh, MTG Nerd in Korea. So yeah, lots of ways to kind of get through. I always take feedback, I always, if you've got a suggestion, I'll probably do it. Even this is a suggestion from Facebook, so I'm doing it right now. So what is budget? I mean $2 or less all the time, I mean $2 or less? This is, was almost a video where I was doing it $1 or less. Two days ago, this list was $1 or less. And then one card just went over a dollar within like the last 48 hours. <sighs> the most frustrating thing about having a budget channel is the cards keep going up in value. I've got all these cards that are like my go-to cards when building decks. And I keep like being like, oh, I can't use this anymore. I can't use this anymore. I can't use... They keep going over my $2 limit. It's very frustrating. I mean, they're good cards, so it makes sense, but it's like, come on. Uh. Deck upgrades. Okay, so green is widely considered to be the color that can do everything. Um, one thing is usually not good at as other colors is card draw. Again, except blue is kind of king of card draw. Green can do it, maybe not as well as blue so again this is going to be a mini series kind of a series within my series about, about yeah looking at green card draw just very much to uh finish off that like what i started with mardu the mardu card draw series i think and this was once again recommended by ben from facebook uh or on the magic group he also has a a youtube channel ben buys beverages i talked about this in the last one as well so yeah He's given more feedback, and again, I am listening. So it says, hey, do this. I'm like, yep, you got it. Anyway, he actually said to do card draw on things that weren't blue. And I was like, well, I did all the other ones already. So anyway. Number five. Gaia's Courser for four in the green. This is a four or five. Uh, whenever he attacks... If there are three or more creature cards in your graveyard, draw a card. So, this is nice because it's only attack. Right? A lot of cards that are similar to this say when it does damage. This doesn't require you actually do damage. This only requires that he attacks. If he attacks and gets blocked, great. Probably what someone's going to want to do to stop you from drawing cards is block this with enough to kill it. So... This is like incentivizing someone to block this creature. Combine this with something like something that Basilisk Collar, where they get Death Touch. So they're going to have to also put putting like five damage on him. It's probably going to be more than one creature they need to line up against him. Otherwise, you're just going to keep drawing cards, right? So really, it's about saying like you either block this and kill it, or I'm going to keep drawing cards. So he's not really so much about the card draw. He's about like the threat of card draw. Anyway, two cents. Number four. Charge through for one green. This is an instant. We love us some instants. Combat truck instants. Target creature gains trample until end of turn. This is such a great little thing. To, you know, you've got that huge creature and they can block it with like a one one and they think, okay, done. You know, I blocked it all taken care of and then you go oh no actually now it has trample it's just all the damage is going straight through now um this is a great trick also it lets you draw a card so this is a one for one right you're using a card you're drawing a card so it's kind of just replacing itself it's not really card advantage maybe but that combat trick and draw a card is just such a nice combination for only one mana Instant speed, one mana. Uh, ten cents. Well worth ten cents. 
number three. Keen sense. Okay, this is the one. You were. This was. I think it was 96 cents. Like, I guess now it's about 72 hours ago. But yeah, not just less than three days ago. Actually, it was. Uh, nerr. Uh, okay, I should growl at the audience. I'm gonna scare someone. Anyway, one green for this aura. Okay, so it is an aura. There's some downsides with the auras. I think it's still pretty good, right? For one green, having something that is going to... Well, I should read it. Whenever an enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. So you do have to deal damage. Put this on something with evasion, maybe? Something that's going to get through? Or something that's really big that has trample? Yeah. Green has a lot of ways to do that, but yeah. Anyway, so the aura... Again, the downside with aura is that if the creature gets taken out, this goes with it, right? It's going to the graveyard with the creature, so have something that lets you get it back out of the graveyard, or some way to, like, yeah, make sure your creature is protected. Maybe a hexproof evasion creature or something. But yeah, anyway, 104. Number two. Okay, Brawlios of Ferris Band. Three green green for this star star. Basically, for every land you have, he gets plus one. He has one toughness and one at power. Or one power and one toughness, I probably should say. So with a green deck, that's going to be big, right? You can keep ramping pretty easily with green, and you usually want to. But whenever Brawlios of Ferris Band attacks, draw a card. Then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. That's crazy. Okay, remember, it's an extra land you get to put in every turn and draw an extra card on top of whatever other ramping you're doing. And yeah, he's going to just keep getting stronger as he keeps putting more lands down as well. Getting more two or more lands down per turn is not very hard if he's on the battlefield, right? And he also becomes such a big threat as well as you keep putting those extra lands down. He keeps just getting stronger and stronger. Anyway, 85 cents. Number one. Emily's favor. Okay, two and a green for this enchantment. So this... Okay, I should read it. Whenever you attack, put a shield counter on target attacking creature. Until the end of turn, what it gains. Whenever this creature deals combat down shield player, remove a shield counter from it. If you do, draw a card. Okay, basically, so they have to block this, otherwise it's going to get through, do damage, and then you draw a card. And if they do block it, it has a shield counter, so it can't be destroyed. You're very much flipping the normal how attacks work on its head. It's like punishing them for not blocking your creature with card draw, which people do not want to give you, but they have to keep putting one... If they want a blocker that isn't going to, like, die... Um, they're going to probably have to put one of their, like, better blockers in front of your creature to, just to keep, like, it from killing the creature or, like, doing damage to you or to your opponent. Sorry, not to you, of course. Um, so they're always having to make this hard kind of call. Pair this with, like, Death Touch, especially. Green has a good amount of Death Touch. If the creature has Death Touch, giving it, yeah, this kind of, like, the shield catcher is one time indestructible, but it will get so much work done. Oh my. Anyway, 43 cents. Gaia's Corsair, 2 cents. Charge through, 10 cents. Keen cents, uh, 104. Brawless of Ferris Band is 85 cents. Family Favor is 43 cents. Take it easy.